Hey guys, welcome to my vintage lens shootout. In this video, I'm gonna be trying to find out which of these nifty 50s is the best for adapting M42 mount to the FX mount. So the lens that's being considered in this shootout is the SMC Takumar 50 millimeter F14. We have the size Jenna DDR 50 millimeter F2.8. The famous Helios 44M-2 58mm f2 and I know this is slightly above the nifty 50 range but it's still within so we're gonna test that anyway. The Jashinon DS 50mm f1.9 by Jashika. The Super Takumar 55mm f2 by Asahi Pentax. And finally, another Pentax, the super multi-coated macro Takmar F4 50mm by Asahi Pentax. And I'm gonna, put in, I'm gonna be putting all of these lenses through a speed booster so that I can get the true magnification of the lens and the true uh, aperture settings. And I will be shooting all of these on my Fuji X-T3. So yeah, without further ado, let's see how this vintage lens shootout comes out. I'm wondering which of these will be the winner. So stay tuned.
So on to the results. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna give you guys what I think are the best and the worst Nifty 50s from this vintage lineup. And by all means, these are just my opinions. So you guys let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. But to start off first, what I think is one of the better ones here is the SMC Takumar 50 millimeter F14. This lens was performing very well in bokeh and in the sharpness, which is what I consider most important. However, this lens was not very sharp, wide open, but once you stop down to F2, it was actually very, very good. So I highly recommend this lens, especially if you can find it for a decent price of around $100. The second place I will give to the Super Takumar 55 millimeter F2. I was actually rooting for this lens since the beginning. This is an awesome lens. I like the 55 millimeter focal range because it's slightly tighter than the 50. So you don't have to be as close to your subject, which is good if you're going to take pictures of people that you don't know. And this lens was overall the best all arounder. Sharpness was great. Vignetting and bokeh, it was all very, very nice. I do recommend this lens. So check it out if you can find it. Also fairly cheap. All of these lenses are around $100, by the way. The third lens on the list is what I'm calling my second best all arounder. And I believe this is the Helios 44-7, 50 millimeter F2. Again, this lens was performing well all across. It's not as sharp as the Super Takumar, but it's decently sharp and it has very good contrast. So I definitely recommend this lens if you wanna check out a vintage uh, lens for around $60, I believe. Fourth place, I will give it to the Macro Takumar 50 millimeter F4. I know this is kind of a niche lens and it probably shouldn't be even in this lineup because it is a macro, but I can't ignore how sharp it is and how little distortion and vignetting it has. Probably the only thing that I did not like about this lens is that the corners don't get sharp until you really stop down to F11 or F16. But overall, it has a very good range in the middle that is very sharp and it also has very good contrast. So I definitely recommend this lens as well. Fifth place goes to the Jashinon 50 millimeter F19. And sixth place goes to the size Jenna 50 millimeter F28. So first on the Jashinon, I really like this lens. It, it does look a little washed out, which I don't like too much. It looks almost like you applied a classic chrome but the lens is a well perform it's a good performer overall so i do recommend it recommend checking it out especially if you can find it for a decent price and i was actually disappointed on the sixth place here the size jenna i thought this was going to be one of the better ones uh, but it's just not as sharp as the others even at 5.6 it's not as sharp as the Jashinon or some of the other ones however this lens does have fairly good contrast so if you don't mind stopping down and uh, and taking advantage of that contrast, then then this lens could still work out for you. So that's it, guys. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys disagree with my results. Again, these are my own personal opinion. Bokeh, for example, can be very subjective to people. So you guys let me know which ones you think has the better bokeh, the better sharpness. I'll definitely look forward to reading your comments. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.